Um, I think in the beginning, when we were younger, it was mainly tradition, and then when you get older, you kind of That's see other people, and then yeah. you learn from them, and then you realise that the culture and everything is a different side of it. Um, I'm not like yeah, I call myself a Muslim, but I don't pray for yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, so I try to be, but it doesn't. It's not an everyday thing, but yeah. whenever I can. I want it to be an everyday thing. I pray five times a day in a like it's like a like prayer ritual where we like prostrate towards the Saudi Arabia where we believe is like where everyone should pray to. I was born into a Sikh family. Uh, I am 28 years old now, and um, I used to look like a Sikh. I thought I was Sikh. Um, people thought I was Sikh, but. I never really knew what it meant to be Sikh. As a practicing Sikh, I have to keep my death, which is, I'm not allowed to remove any hair on my body, not even this white hair, and then remove my beard that everyone keeps telling me to get rid of. But I should keep my head covered at all times. I'm not allowed to eat meat, fish or eggs. I'm not allowed to smoke, I'm not allowed to drink. This is challenging. Yeah, but life, life is a lot easier knowing that God's there. God was always there. You know, life's a lot easier knowing that this isn't me. This ain't me. I am my soul. My soul has been given this human body. I question all the time. Because if we stop questioning, then it's all over, man. You can't just, you, no, no matter what faith we are, there's so much. Guru Nanak talks about we can't comprehend God. Sikhism is very relevant today, man. You know, you can spot me a mile away. You know, like a message of be the lighthouse. Ships are drowning. We need to, people need to know that, look, there's a Sikh. You know, he'll help me. It's, it's, I feel blessed to be a Sikh. Because in Sikhism, we don't say that this is the only way to get to God. We don't say you have to be Sikh to be God, to meet God. It guides me in a way, it helps me make decisions on what I am, what I'm supposed to do and what I'm not to do. So it does have a, have a major influence on decisions I'm making and what ways I choose to do things. Like when I'm trying to if I'm about to do something, I might think it's just the right thing to do in the Bible, like in decision making. But apart from that, it's mostly on the weekend. Uh, it does tell me what I can and can't do, what I should and shouldn't do throughout the day. So I think it is responsible for pretty much like every action that I do during the day. When you like the whole smoking and drinking thing, you stay strong because you know it's wrong, but then you do get tempted. Yeah. Because yeah. that whole temptation is still there, but then you have to kind of remember what your life's kind of about and by you kind of doing that stuff you're not doing the right thing. Well it makes it harder because there are certain things that we shouldn't do which um, it makes it quite hard to, like to not do and so it's sort of like temptation but it's just like we feel that it's just God testing us. I think by the time I was 10 I just had this inner conviction that this was what God wanted me to do and nothing has ever changed that. I think it's true to say that uh, my faith and my religion um, gives me a positive outlook on life. Um, I can laugh at everything because I see the funny side of things and I think sometimes God laughs at us when he sees the things that we do. <laughs> We can do the things together that we can do together as acts of uh, good works, which we must all be about. We can share our resources in doing those things. I think people will be attracted to the Christian faith if they see that those who claim to be Christians actually live what they believe.
Uh, I feel that life probably would be easier without my religion as it, it puts like a lot of limitations on me, telling me like what I can and can't do. But I do feel that uh, it's for my own good, so I, I would still follow it at the end of the day. I don't think my life would be easier because you weren't on the guideline. You'll be confused like what to do and what's right and wrong. Yeah. Like right now you've got the thing that you know what's right and you know what's wrong and you follow that guideline. And even though you don't follow it completely, you still know your boundaries. Uh, I wouldn't say that I accept what they teach in others, mm -hmm. but I, I would definitely I would, I would learn about how they run and uh, how I can live not to like, say, offend them or make their life easier as well. You respect different people, mm -hmm. you're not going to judge them just because they're Hindu or just because they're Christian. Um, positives, obviously, like her, is that it brings people together, but then on the other hand, it causes conflict as well. And there's lots of conflict as well because, as when the, obviously the Quran was written, it wasn't modernised into the way it is now. So it's kind of hard to say, yeah, don't listen to music, but everywhere you go, you'll hear music and stuff. So it's kind of hard to try and avoid some religious beliefs. I think that's the terms. <laughs> it gives you, it brings you together as a community. Um, it gives you something to follow. Um, it can also guide you and give you a spiritual sense. I think negatives sometimes it can cause conflicts, the way some people interpret it. Main thing that attracted me to Islam is that it is a practical, common sense religion. Uh, also, it's relevant to life, i.e. modern life. It's not just something where it seems like it's only relevant if you uh, were living 1400 years ago, but now it's not relevant. It's relevant to modern life as well. So there was a practicality of it, and the second thing was a common sense aspect of it, i.e. it's a religion which uh, appeals to the intellect and to a person's common sense. Uh, so everything it says, it gives you a reason why, which makes it easy for you to understand it. I mean, I became Muslim because someone decided to spread the message. So without a doubt, if somebody hadn't decided to give me a book and say, read this, or give me a CD and say, listen to this, then I may not have become a Muslim. So it's very important to get the message out. There's nothing that I question about the religion. Uh, but, but without a doubt, when you, if the Islam is a dynamic religion, uh, what that means is that there are maxims and principles which uh, allow it through analogy to answer and reply to modern day uh, issues and situations. There's, there's obviously there's law which prevents a person doing crime because of a punishment for that for that crime that you do. But the law it doesn't deal with, one thing it doesn't deal with or address is moral development. It doesn't deal with uh, moralities and ethics, uh, which is if, which religion, that's what it does as well. It's important to interact with other communities but not defining it to religious communities. Uh, just to interact within your community and to be a positive part of your community is important, but not just specifying with religious communities. Because I, I grew up in this community okay, you before was very, very religious. The Church of England yeah. was uh, predominant, so that was the religion of the state. And therefore there was, there has always been religious tolerance. Around here, but would you, would you consider that culture maybe clashes with your religion? Well, culture, in the sense, you see, w w w what is happening is that with so many immigrants coming into this country, yeah, with their cultures. Mm. Before it was monocultural, yeah, the English culture, mm -hmm. but with this, uh, with all of us immigrants coming in here with our various cultures, that is why. There is some sort of conflict. Uh, so you feel it's easy to express religion? You feel it's easy to be your religion? This is probably one of the most tolerant relig uh, societies as, as far as religion is concerned. It can be easy. It can be easy, yeah. If you wait, do you? I don't know. I think it is quite easy. I think right. it is quite easy, but right. today's society ain't gonna... It's not, it's not easy, like, what really portrays it makes it harder. 
but it's easy if you really wanted to do it. But we we did not show that. That's so a like, good so way. Like modern good influence. Thing. Like mm, like modern influence. Stuff, yeah, the internet. Do you think that mm. interferes with your religion? Yeah, it does interfere with a lot of people's religion. Yeah. Right. Not mine in general, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Do you reckon you're open-minded about other people? Yeah, well, I have no problem. As long as people don't try and make me believe, like, yeah. like force it on me, I'm fine, yeah. Because obviously, in some black like, culture, we only have 300 faces. It's important to know about everyone else's style of living so that we don't upset certain communities.